Hey, 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 how's it going? Do it yourselfers. So a few years ago, I made a video on explaining torque and horsepower. Now I thought I made an easy enough video back then, but apparently not, since the questions haven't stopped since. So in this video, I'm gonna make it even simpler to understand, and I'm gonna do it in a few minutes. Now the explanations and the references I'm gonna provide in this video are gonna be in relation to a rotating engine with a crankshaft, which is what we got here. All right, so let's get torque out of the way. Torque is basically a measurement, emphasis on measurement, of twisting force. Now when talking about an engine, we're talking about how much twisting force is coming out of your crankshaft. Now the formula for torque is basically distance times force. Now here's a quick demonstration. Let's say I wanna twist the nut using this ratchet. Let's say this ratchet is a foot long and I can only produce 20 pounds of force. So basically distance times force, which would be one foot times 20 will equal 20 pound feet of torque applied to this nut. Now let's say I get a different ratchet like this, and this is longer. Let's say this is three feet long. I'm trying to remove the same nut, and I can still only produce 20 pounds of force. So we'll times three by 20, we'll get 60 pound feet of torque. Now you basically do the same thing with the twisting force or the torque of your crankshaft through gearing inside your manual or automatic transmission. But we'll get into that a little bit later in this video. All right, so next let's talk about horsepower. So horsepower is basically a calculation, emphasis on the word calculation, of work or twisting force in our case, done in a particular time period. Emphasis on the time period as well. All right, now, so how do you calculate horsepower? So the formula for horsepower is this. Horsepower equals torque times RPM or revolutions per minute divided by 5252. Now, 5252 is just a constant we won't get into why it's the constant, but it's a constant that's used for calculating horsepower and torque when talking about engine. All right, so just simply looking at the formulas, you can calculate torque, no problem, but if you need to calculate horsepower, you need to already know what the torque measurement is to calculate horsepower, since the formula is, is very basic. It's RPM times torque divided by 5252. 5252 is a constant. Revolutions per minute can be measured, but you need to know the torque through its own measurement to be able to get the horsepower. And that's where the dynos come in when talking about cars. You know, they measure the twisting force or the torque at your wheels, and then they run that measurement through a calculation or a software to get your horsepower at different RPM. All right, so to clear things up even further, I'll give you some examples on how you can improve your torque, and I'll give you some examples on how you can improve your horsepower as well. Now, there are a lot of things you can do to improve the torque or the twisting force coming out of your crankshaft. The best one would be, let's say you have a naturally aspirated engine, you simply put turbos on that like we got on this Audi. In fact, we have two turbos on this 2.7 liter by turbo Audi. By putting a turbocharger or a supercharger on your engine, you increase the amount of air or oxygen you can get into the engine. And by doing that, you can increase the amount of fuel getting into your engine, producing more power and therefore producing more twisting force or torque. Other things you can do is to put aftermarket intake manifolds or exhaust manifolds or headers, uh, catalytic converters, all of which will help your engine breathe better by allowing it to take in air easier and exhaust or exhale easier, which will help your engine produce more power. Other things you can do is to upgrade your camshaft. For example, you can put a more aggressive camshaft, which will open up your exhaust and intake valves a little bit further or quicker or longer, which again will do the same thing, allow your engine to breathe better. You can also upgrade your fuel injectors or your fuel pump to allow your engine to take in more fuel. And of course you can reprogram your car's computer to produce more power because out of the factory, your car's, your engine's computer is programmed not only to produce power, but also to run very efficient and also to uh, keep emissions standards. But you know, you can reprogram it and put more emphasis on producing more power. Now, of course, there are a ton more things you can do to your car's engine to produce more power or torque, but these examples should give you a pretty good idea. Now, as far as how you can improve your horsepower, well, it's pretty simple. If you look at the formula, horsepower is RPM times torque divided by 5252. There's two things that you can improve upon or increase to get more horsepower, torque and revolutions per minute or RPM. Again, emphasis on the minute. So basically horsepower is saying, how, as, as we talked about, how much twisting force you can provide or work you can uh, produce in a specific time frame. So if you wanna increase horsepower for this engine, let's say, you can either improve, Im improve your torque, which would be more power in a specific time frame, or you can improve your RPM, which would mean you can gain the same power 
in a lower or a quicker time frame. Both those things improve your horsepower. As far as how you can improve upon the RPM of this, let's say this engine is, well, you can make sure that everything is lubricated better. Maybe you can upgrade your oil pump. Uh, you know, you can make sure there is less friction. You can make sure that your engine is, uh, stays cool and dissipates the heat. Therefore, your RPM can go up without you blowing up your engine. Now, I should mention that in the case of this gas-powered engine, you can't really improve just the RPM without improving your torque because as you increase lubrication and decrease friction to allow for these pistons to move up and down more easily, you increase your torque coming out of your crankshaft anyway. But if magically you could just have constant torque, the only thing left would be the RPM. This is just to demonstrate to you the relationship between torque and horsepower and how they relate to time. All right, so once again, torque is a measurement of twisting force. Horsepower is a way of calculating in which time frame that twisting force can be applied. Let's say I can only apply the same amount of torque. So this would be a low, low horsepower application of the torque. This would be a high horsepower application of torque. Same torque different time frame. Same thing with the torque coming out of your engine. Now the torque that comes out of your engine it can be measured by the dyno, but when you can when you put that torque into your transmission, depending on the gears, you can get a different amount of torque going to the wheels. But if you change the torque coming out of your engine, notice you can't change the torque produced by your engine. You can only change it up coming out of it. You can increase torque by putting it through a bigger gear, let's say your lower gear, let's say your first gear, that's your bigger gear. And by twisting that bigger gear inside your transmission, you produce more torque coming out of the output shaft of your transmission going to your wheels, but you sacrifice revolutions per minute because that's a bigger gear. It's gonna take more time for it to go around one revolution. And of course, as you go up in gear, the gears get smaller, the output shaft twists faster, but it produces less torque relative to a bigger gear like your you know, first, second gear. Same concept here. I can twist this around a lot quicker than I can twist this around, but I produce more torque here since this is longer or bigger. And that's science. So I hope that clears things up, but probably not. We'll be back here in a little while and making the same video with a slightly different explanation probably in a year. But if you like this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe, hit that bell notification. Also check out my other videos. I put links to them on the screen. There will also be links in the description. Also you can click and watch any of my videos in the suggestion box. That will greatly help as well. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.